Turning now to the looming strike threat by the United Auto Workers Union against the big three automakers, the Biden administration says it's closely monitoring the situation. And Mary Alice Parks is joining us now from the White House with more. Mary Alice, good morning to you. Whit, good morning. This president likes to call himself the most pro-union president. And the line from the West Wing this week has been, we believe in collective bargaining. A senior White House aide told me that the president wants to make sure the unions know he has their backs and that they don't feel pressured to take a deal that they don't like. The president is closely monitoring all of this, but I do get the sense that they're trying to keep it a bit at an arm's length. Yesterday, we saw Solantis that owns Chrysler present a counteroffer. They were the last of the big three manufacturers to do so. The offer was for about 14 and percent raises for most employees over the life of these new four-year contracts. But like we saw with the other offers, the UAW president took to social media and really mocked the proposal. It was a far cry from the 40 percent raises that the union has been pushing for. And this is really just the latest showdown in what has been a trend of unions across industries flexing their muscle. September 14th, that's the deadline for these auto workers. So, Will, the clock is ticking. Yeah, that's soon. Mary Alice, thanks for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.